Datum shift, or displacement, is one of those concepts that requires a lot of thought to thoroughly grasp. The shift that may occur is dependent on the part geometry. So I've decided to make this tip with yet another example of the shift. This topic ties into other concepts like simultaneous requirements and the candidate datum set or rocking datum features. The June 29, 2012 one hour long brown bag session is devoted to how these concepts relate. If you miss the broadcast, as with our other brown bag sessions, you may view the video at your leisure if you are a premium site member. Now, here's the tip. As I mentioned, datum feature shift, or displacement as the standard calls it, changes with part geometry. On this part, our primary datum feature is the bottom surface, and so in a setup I would set that against a plate, a very flat plate, to establish my primary or first datum plane. My secondary datum feature is this width, B. Its size is 50.8 plus or minus 0.2, so the largest it can be is 51. And at 51, it can be out of perpendicular 0.3 so it can act like 51.3. In other words, its maximum material boundary with respect to the first datum plane would be 51.3. So if I build a fixture to hold this part, I would have two parallel planes 51.3 millimeters apart. Then datum feature C is this back surface. So it has to come up against a plane that's at right angles to the first planes that I've established using A and B. Let's take a look at two different parts in the fixture or setup for this part, where B has been modified at the maximum material boundary, as you see in these feature control frames. On this part, datum feature B is at its largest size and it has deviation in perpendicularity that causes it to fill the datum simulator, so there is no datum shift. This part is down near the smallest width and it has very good perpendicularity, so we are allowed to shift the part up and down in the fixture to bring the holes into their position tolerance. The part has to stay against datum feature A, which is this surface, so there's no shift in that direction, and it has to stay against datum feature C, so no shift left-right. The only shift allowed is up-down if the part is made smaller than the maximum material boundary of datum feature B. Be sure to view the other tips and videos related to datum shift. Some people choose to ignore it, but you really can't because shift happens. As always, if you need help with this or other GD&T topics, give Techies a call because we all know that at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next tip.